All right, hello everyone. We're back, hole number five here, setting up four. And what I like to do with this one, uh, if you guys checked my, you know, part one, you probably have this shot covered. I'm probably going to, you know, always play this hole this way. So, um, you know, it's just very straightforward, easy, gives you no risk to bring birdie into the equation. And it's going to give you that very good opportunity to make that albatross as well. So, um, you know, one of the things that I'll do here, let me just input 4.0 just so I can get a sense of what we're looking at here. And what I have been doing, I've been adding just a little bit of backspin just for some control. And then I'll just kind of test, you know, you can see that it's 3.7 rings into power. So I'm just going to kind of test that and just see how it looks. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit this with a no power shot, just like this or without having to adjust rings. So here you'll see that it'll just kind of shoot down towards this target. It was not trying to hit that great ball, but you can see, you know, with a quarterback, you're gonna have more than enough, um, you know, precision and accuracy that, you know, a great ball isn't going to be a big deal breaker. But you are gonna to have to kind of copy my backspin there if you're going to do a similar shot. And also, you know, test off your ball guide because you might not have the same level quarterback as me. And that might change the way that you have to do the spin. So if you can just try to, you know, visually inspect the ball guide, similarly to, to what you see in my shots, that'll give you, you know, the best chance that you have to know how your club's going to work against the club that I have. And for this, I don't use elevation. So plus zero is what I'll use. And I'll just get my input here ready. And here it is a very small wind, 2.4 miles per hour. This is kind of best case scenario. We are going to be kind of close to max club. So what I'll do is just kind of put this slider up here, similar to where I expect it to kind of fall. And what I'll try to do is try to get this on a little bit flatter spot, if at all possible. Just kind of leave the guide short right on the edge kind of like here and then I'll adjust these 2.2 rings that you see that I need to go mm -mm. perfect ball let's hope I can get this going towards the hole mm -mm. looks very good but just offline so you are going to just, you know, have to play around with that ball guide just a little bit and also be very precise with your ring play, but you'll see that it will give you a very, very good albatross uh, play with a very, you know, safe layup drive. If you can just go quarterback sniper with no power or anything and easily give yourself, you know, a run by the hole every time, um, there's really no sense to... Uh, you know, do anything more complicated in this rookie tour. It's just going to be the safest way. And here you can see that, you know, my opponent, you know, you can get it up there, but, um, you know, it's just going to be, you know, kind of a more pain and you're going to have to worry about potentially being in the rough and catching, you know, perfect balls through the rough. So much more safe to just kind of put it out there and play. Um, and if you didn't see my other, sh my other guide, I was able to get the shot. But, um, you know, either of these guides are going to help you get that alignment with what you want to do for a landing zone and how you want to execute the shot. So good luck with this fifth hole, guys, and catch you guys for hole six coming up.